Hey, everybody. Welcome to a Messages from Spirit. Um, I would just thought, I thought I'd peek into a couple of things that um, are really kind of, um, gosh, we're in such a wonky time, aren't we? Um, so I think joints are coming up, joints and families, family joints. <laughs> so I think kind of families are coming a little unglued right now. And I just wanted to read to you the symbolism of what I found for like weak joints and um, bones, I guess, too. So let me read this thing to you and then we'll get into this other stuff that's been coming up. Okay. The metaphysical symbolism of weak bones or joints is very telling of what is going on in our world. Generally speaking, everything is falling apart and breaking down, eating away our foundations. And if I take a step back, it appears that this is increasingly affecting people on a physical level. Just think about the surge in hip and knee replacement. And of course, OA and OP. Bones give strength and support, but they can be brittle. If we see ourselves as having little or no support in the world of a physical, emotional, or spiritual nature, our own foundation is weakened and the structure collapses in upon itself. The underlying feeling may be that we are not supported or we are not supported well enough that our foundations are not there. It may be that we worry about our job security or how long we will be able to rent a particular house, what will happen to our kids in the future, or whether our super will be enough, sup, super, whether our super will be enough to give us the life we desire post-retirement. I don't know what they meant by super. <laughs> Hopefully our super is super. <laughs> this certain, this uncertainly uncertainty about the future of, of life of the planet is certainly what we see in the wider world. And these are anxieties that plague us all. What is going to happen to me, to my family, to my world? Who will help and how do I live strong? If, if that is not indicative of our times, I don't know what the heck is. So I thought that was so perfect that that came up in this time, which is the some products for joint support are burdock root, which Honey just talked about in one of our recent talks. And burdock root also is known for being really strong and life supportive, like, like mother nature itself, kind of holding you like the roots of an oak tree, like holding you firm, holding you strong. So when you take burdock root, you also are ingesting an energy of, I will make it through anything. I am strong enough to hold it, hold it through anything. Um, also, there are some really great, um, Bach flower essences that you can drop into your water or your drink. Well, water would be best and just sip it throughout the day. That'll help you feel so, uh, safe and secure and strong and hopeful and all these other things. So you might want to want to visit a natural grocers um, in your area and just check out their section on Bach flower essences. Um what else? Um, okay. So here's the other thing that's been coming up a lot is, uh, relationships with parents. So <laughs> I grew up with a dad who was a teacher and he taught history in English. Some of you actually, <laughs> actually know him. Um, some of you who follow me, um, knew me from back, you know, way, way back. So, um, he, was always like, he just seemed to me as a kid looking, looking at him, I was like, wow, he has a wealth of knowledge. He's a walking encyclopedia. I thought he was so smart to be a teacher. You know, I just was like, he's a teacher. Wow. I just thought that was so respectful. Like I had so much respect for my dad and what he did. And I thought it was so incredible that he was leading people and educating people. And I just thought, you know, that was just amazing. And I looked up to him in so many ways. Um, it, but I, I found that every time I tried to get him to explain something to me, and I genuinely wanted to understand history, I really wanted to know the truth of how things played out. And when I was in school, 
I just didn't get it. And I was bored out of my mind. And then I thought, I'm just going to, I'm just going to kind of bond with my dad and have a moment where he can actually teach me the truth about history. Like we could sit together and he could tell me all about the civil war and what happened and what was, what really went on. And he could get me to understand it maybe at a level where I could walk into my class even, and I could know even more than the kids knew because you know, because I had it straight from the horse's mouth in a way, like I have a history teacher for a father, you know, I should understand these things inside and out. But anytime that I would ask him about it, I was made to feel really stupid. Like, you're an idiot, Amy, aren't you just aren't you going to your class? You know, and I was like, of course, I'm going to my class, but it's like really boring. Can you just explain it to me? And he would just like, act really kind of like put out and like, really, you know, and I would just always get so much flack for it. Or he would get really like defensive, like, don't you get, don't you blah, blah, blah. You know, it was always like really um, a lot of resistance and defensiveness. And he was never like, just, uh, you know, he might explain a few things to me and then he would end up like making fun of me almost like, oh, you're just a stupid blonde. Like, you're not going to get it. Forget it. I'm not even going to waste my time explaining. So he was always somehow putting me down or putting, you know, putting himself above me. And so I actually genuinely felt stupid. I felt like, wow, I don't get it in class and I don't get it from my dad. So I must really be dumb. <laughs> like I must really be stupid. So I grew up thinking that. I think I, I was like, I'm not even going to ask these questions of people because every time that I go to ask somebody these important questions, they all act that way. You know, anybody that I went to ask those questions, I was genuinely seeking answers and I didn't have anybody patient enough or kind enough or even knowledgeable now that I know now. Um, to even to, to tell me, but now looking back and understanding human nature and human behavior, my dad didn't know what he was talking about. And so many of our parents don't. And what they do is they try to reinforce their ego. So they say, well, what I've learned for myself and the truth that I've come to myself, I'm going to impress it upon you and just tell you to follow. And you just believe what I believe, because otherwise I'm going to feel like an idiot. And I want you to be the idiot, not me. So you need to be beneath me and you need to do as I do. Otherwise, I'm stupid. Otherwise, you'll prove to me that I'm stupid, which I already know that I am. You know, I already feel insecure. I already feel not enough or whatever. But this is the truth I've come to. So if you don't embrace it, too, then that that harms me. That threatens my ego. That threatens, you know, you you cannot know more than me. You know what I mean? So all this time thinking my dad was smart. He wasn't at all. He didn't even know what he was talking about. And to this day, he's reading books this thick that are total lies, total fake information. And he thinks he knows what he's talking about. He will fight to the death. And he almost disowned me over not voting back in the day because he felt that my one vote made Trump win uh, back in the day. So, (laughs) I mean, we've been through it. We can't even talk about the subject. So a lot of you I know are going through the same stuff right now. And you're, and you're, and you're realizing, oh my gosh, my parents didn't know anything. My parents, they don't know what's best for me. And on, not only is there that realization going on, but we're also realizing that the kids being born nowadays are these star seeds, are these incredible angels that are coming in. You know, you may have watched the autistic talk. If you haven't, you got to see that, that I made on my inspirational stories on rumble.com forward slash awakening with Amy. You got to check, check out those inspirational stories. Um, but our children are the ones who know better than we are, than we do. And I think we're learning to surrender to that and to become like more like children and be like, you teach me. You with innocent, pure eyes, still really connected to source. You show me where it's at. I'm not going to pollute you with my beliefs that I've been, uh, I just heard impregnated with, you know, you've been influenced um, by these Luciferians, not even realizing, you know, Um, our society is completely completely tainted 
with, with all these, um, you know, what, there was a really great, I don't have my phone with me right now. Look on Instagram at my latest post. Okay. Go to Instagram, find me, Amy Satori. You can find me so easily everywhere. Just put in my name and it'll come up pretty much (laughs) or put in what I say to put in and it'll be there. Rumble.com forward slash awakening with Amy guys. That that doesn't mean put my name in the search. (laughs) You can't do that because you got to click on channel instead of video or click on video instead of channel or whatever, you know, it's, it's, it's a pain in the butt. So you really literally have to listen to how I tell you to find it. Okay. Don't do it your own way. (laughs) Anyway. So another thing that's going on right now, not only having all these epiphanies and realizations about, I mean, even like mama's boys who are dealing with their parents or, or mothers who always acted like, or even fathers, I guess, you know, daddy's girls, Um, feeling like they, they, you know, looked up to their parent and their parent was looking after them and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, but they, they get to a point where they realize uh, that their moms are just holding on to them. They just don't want to let them go and go live their own life and find their own happiness. So they're, so they're kind of, they start to treat their son like their spouse. And it even says in the Bible, one good thing that they say in the Bible is that you have to leave your mother to go to your wife's bosom. You leave the mother and you go this direction. Your mom knows full well your whole life. She's got all that time to come to terms with the fact that you are going to become an adult someday and you are going to leave your mother to go start a life with someone else, somewhere else kind of thing, right? They're going to be an adult and they're going to leave. And then they're going to come back for holidays or talk to you on the phone or whatever. But, you know, they have all that time to do that. But instead, some mothers take that time to influence and manipulate the shit out of their sons. You need me. Family is the most important thing in the world. You will always need your mother's opinion. She does your laundry. She does your dishes. She does, you know, and it's ridiculous how desperate that they get sometimes to cling to that when they know full well, eventually, When he grows up, he's going to leave the influence of that person. Now, this also could be corporations. It could be the business that you're in. They may tell you exactly where to go, who to, you know, who to date, who, what to wear, where to live, who, you know, all of this societal stuff, it's all crumbling around us. It's all completely crumbling around us. And and we're rethinking everything in the way that everything works, even the structure of our routine. Does the structure of our routine, when I get up in the morning, do I, the first thing I do, is it something that's beneficial to me that actually gets me on a good tone for the day? Even if I wake up completely, totally depressed because you've had some kind of like um, dream warfare put on you all night and the, and the nefarious ones are definitely attacking the light workers right now. Um, but they're, uh, we're having to rethink the way that we live our lives, the way that we have our routines are the things that I'm doing supportive of me right now. And what are the effects of it? When I drink alcohol, it feels really great when I drink and have a good time. But the next morning I feel completely suicidal, right? There's something wrong with that. Do I really want to put myself through that or maybe drink a, a ton of water before I go to bed? So it totally dilutes it. And so that I don't have those effects. If I take my products and my supplements on a regular basis, does that feel good? When I eat, you know, vegetables and fruits and things growing out of my garden, how much better does that feel than when I'm eating uh, lips and buttholes that I'm eating out of meat made by humans at the, at the burger place? You know, it's like (laughs) we're reassessing everything. So of course we feel really insecure and like our foundation is shaken and everywhere that we look, it's like an illusion. It's like we go to touch something that turns to ash in front of us. And we're like, Whoa, that never really existed. Like I thought it did, or that was ass backwards, or that was upside down. So we're realizing so much about our world that makes us like totally shaky and wobbly. So support your bones, support your joints. What's the other thing that supports joints guys? Oh, uh, not oregano oil is an MSM sulfur, sulfur MSM and sulfur, I think could be joint support, you know, um, but look it up maybe on DuckDuckGo, not Google, <laughs> look it up because Google will lie right to you right now so far, but here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Okay. You guys are about to feel tremendously supported and you're not going to know what to do with it. You're going to be going from a, from feeling like totally insecure to totally on top of the world. I really feel the RV is going to happen, the funds revaluation. So um, to those of, of you that I recommended going and getting uh, 
foreign currencies and things like that, you're going to be really glad you heard you listened to me and you acted on that immediately because you're about to become millionaires, billionaires, and all of that. So the meek shall inherit the earth and they're doing it now um, any day. So I just wanted to get confirmation of that and get a little read on that. So I hope you guys, uh, sometimes it requires the universe wants you to take some kind of a leap of faith toward that direction. When you don't want to go in a certain direction in life, it's like you have to make an investment toward it and then God rewards it, right? So maybe pack up your boxes and get ready to move soon. Get, you start looking for a property or start looking for a home that's off the grid or start looking for like start start looking um, at what you're going to be doing with all that money. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Some maybe a shocking event, a shocking event that m makes this flip happen, turns everything on its heels. Is it going to be tough for everybody across the board to swallow? No. Um, just the sleepers. Yes. Okay. Um, I think it'll be jarring and I think we'll have to like brace ourselves in the sense that, oh gosh, is my family going to call me? Are they going to, you know, how are they going to handle this and whatnot? But we want to, we have to get ourselves and God is supporting us in this and getting ourselves in a good, solid, secure place where we feel safe. And we feel like we have a little safe haven. We have a sanctuary. We're okay. Kind of like the same thing. I've said this for years putting the mask on our face and the air on the airplane and then putting it on our child. You know, our child is now our parents and, um, all in the sleep, the sleepers basically. So we are going to, um, yeah, laying down a burden and going forward very quickly. Look at that. The burden is about, and this is a 10 of wands. 10 is the very end of something. And the eight of wands, things going very, very quickly. Lots of communication, lots of action, lots of things happening. So some of you are going to have to like move very quickly to whatever this new location is. Um, that's going to be uh, safer. It's going to feel safer. So when I'm about to do, um, I'm going to pull some cards and say a, bl a blessing for all of these things that we're talking about. Okay. Okay, God, can you please tell us about um, the RV? Tell us about the RV. I think that was actually saying that the RV is rolling out. <laughs> can we get more confirmation, please, or some other message about that? Okay, and I feel like pulling a Mary Magdalene card, too. Yes, yes, a passionate new start. A very passionate, new, inspired start racing forward as a yes. One sword is a yes. An ace is a yes, too. So yes, yes. This is about a passionate whole new life opening up for you based on inspiration. And look at this guy's running into it fast. So <laughs> holy crap. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You have got to be kidding me. Look at this. Yes awakening, potentially military, everything healing in this chapter in our lives, finally coming to a close and things healing and um, a whole new authentic beginning starting up, things going very, very quickly, things, <laughs> geez, because of your emotional intelligence and your intuition and you listening and you, you're now going to be the compassionate one who's got to be understanding and empathetic and an ear and somebody to, to lean on through these times. Um, you're about to be independently wealthy and have your wishes fulfilled and have a baby potentially. And um, ha that's a healing card. That's about being exuberant and full of joy and happy over your wishes being fulfilled. Um, and it's being authentic and vulnerable, two cards on being authentic and authentic. Um, so you're, you're, wow. <laughs> wow. This is having all the, you know, the, the success, the independence, the sovereignty, everything that you've been looking for during this time, you're about to have it all and possibly potentially a baby or a family or um, maybe just the real you coming out, bursting forward, um, being birthed. Um, but whatever this is, you're going to be celebrating it. I also feel like this is, if you do drink, you're going to, you're going to be having a mini party, hopefully, you know, oh my gosh, the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you having your dreams come true. And this is, this embodies all the Queens, every single one of them and abundance, having everything you've ever wished or hoped for. And I always talk about Qigong being like a waterfall that washes over you. It's like, it's going to wash over all the pain of your past and make it up to you. 
And then this is somebody who is a high, high status, has all the money in the world. She's really grounded and mature. So busting free, being totally sovereign. So this is doing whatever you want to do, uh, um, independent of anybody else and what they think. And you may be attracting a partner that matches that energy who can be your grounded, mature partner in this, because this is the king of pentacles as well. So both of you being a really mature, grounded couple who are really good for each other that are going to enjoy this harvest. So won't that be beautiful? Um, all right. So I'm going to pull a Mary Magdalene card. All right. So surrender and let go of all those unhealthy, toxic connections. I don't know what that card means, but I just saw surrender and look at nudity means uh, vulnerability, authenticity too. Oh my gosh. That just reminds me too. This is amazing. You guys, um, I talked to somebody, <laughs> I talked to somebody yesterday. I talked to this couple and oh my gosh, they are the sweetest couple ever. And I'm like, man, you guys are like, you guys are true love. Like they're so, oh my gosh, he is so sweet and kind and loving and patient with her. They're so sweet to each other. It's, it, oh my gosh, just being able to watch them all the time is just like, oh, I'm always like, oh, I want to have what you guys have. This is so amazing. They're so sweet and they're so beautiful. And, um, they finally said to me, you know, and they're an older couple and you would never think looking at these guys. And they were just like, well, we wanted to just kind of tell you something, Amy, we know that you're not judgmental. So we feel okay telling you this, but at the same time, it's kind of like, Oh, we hope it doesn't change anything between us or anything. And I was like, Whoa, what are you guys going to tell me? <laughs> you know? And I said, you know, I said, I said, you know, I said, trust me, I've had like dominatrix clients and stuff like that. I don't judge anybody. I support you guys where you are because God has us go through everything that we have to go through in order to get us where we're going. It's all about lessons and learning and love, right? So they tell me <laughs> that they're adult entertainment stars. They're both, they're both like <laughs> celebrity adult entertainment people. <laughs> Since I'm not in that world, I had no clue. And we were all having a good laugh about it. But here's the cool thing. There's all these little subcultures happening all over the world. And these guys are international. And they have like these, um, these cams where they get watched or she gets watched, mostly her. She gets watched all over the world. But they have a platform in which they can talk about anything. They have not been censored. They have not been monitored. They don't have to wear those things on their faces. They are completely and totally free. And in their culture, they have been talking about all this stuff that's been going on, the dangerous things we've been putting in our arms, all that stuff. They've been talking freely about it. And she says, you guys, her audience is, it's like, really become obvious that more and more and more and more and more people like it's getting to be like out of control. All the people that are coming forward being Trump supporters, which we're not all about Trump necessarily, but like he's definitely helping bring us to freedom. So, but they're all, they're all about, and they're all rising up to the occasion saying that they are, they are all about our freedom and they are all about the truth. And they're, I mean, so you never know it. You never suspect it. And that, you know, all the things, all the miracles that are happening kind of behind the scenes in a, in a world we, most of us don't even know about, you know? And so it was, it was really inspirational to think, you know, to think that the difference that, that those guys are making in the world and their world most likely will crumble in the future because we're not going to have um, that anymore. But uh, these two will for sure be a part of that being a very um, positive transition into something really beneficial. And um, maybe, I mean, who knows? Gosh, might say, say, maybe they might switch over to sacred sexuality and be teaching classes on that and that kind of thing. So, but it's just, it's so inspiring all the different, all the different ways that the universe is supporting our freedom and our sovereignty. Okay, the surrender card says, at present, it seems like the harder you try, the more things you want elude you. That's not uh, much. There's not much you can do at the moment except wait. Surrender your expectations and be patient. 
In time, you will get what you want, though this may not come in the form or way you expected. In the meantime, remember that you cannot control how others view things or what they think, say, or do. In, the, in time, you will come to realize that the current events are a blessing, a blessing. <laughs> you will emerge from this period of, of your life with a newfound sense of clarity, which will enable you to move forward in life with confidence. The emotional ups and downs you are currently experiencing will soon stabilize. Okay, so Mary Magdalene, can you speak to the RB and the changes that, are, that I feel are coming? Hang on, I got to turn these cards over. I just saw the card about war and peace. Is that a card? Do we need to look at war and peace? Yes. I still don't feel like I've chosen the card yet, though. <laughs> but these are just like little side notes. Okay, war and peace. Um, there is a clash between your logical mind and a heartfelt yearning at present. Your heart is pulling you in one direction while your mind pulls you in another. This is creating an inner war, which is responsible for the stress you're feeling. The way to overcome your current dilemma is by embracing both your heart and your mind. Trust what your heart is saying, yet apply logic and common sense also. Inner peace is only possible by embracing both sides of your nature. Acknowledge any fear you may have, but do not allow it to stand in your way. Only do what feels right in your heart. Um, it will move you, uh, move you closer to fulfilling your dreams. Yet you also need to be rational about your decisions. For both heartfelt inspiration and practical logic are necessary in order to achieve a harmonious and successful outcome. Okay, so the theme for today's message is from spirit. Please, Mary. Transformation. Okay, just change. Transformation. All right. Your world may seem like it has turned upside down. We were just saying that. Yet rest assured, there is no need for concern. A positive transformation related to work, study, or finances is now occurring. <laughs> Keep calm and allow the storms to clear. For when it does, you shall discover that things have been rearranged for the better. Do not fear the changes taking place, for change is a necessary part of life. With every ending comes a new beginning. Trust and be prepared to lovingly let go of the past. If there is one certainty in life, it's that your life will continue to transform as it magically and magically unfolds. Though you may feel unsettled and unsure at this present time, try to be flexible in your thinking and be open to new ideas. A bright future awaits. So here we go. Let's look at some spirit cards. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, should I do spirit cards now? Okay. You want me to do spirit cards now? Uh, da, 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 da. Laugh at it all. Humor is the best medicine and your greatest weapon against negativity. So, so just crack up, even laugh five times for five minutes before bed or just a few minutes before bed. Just crack up. If you don't like a situation, practice observing you in the experience rather than being in it yourself. Step outside yourself and look from a more detached perspective. So be the watcher, be the observer of your life, of you in that experience. Like I would be watching me making this video right now, for example, I'm standing back there looking at me doing this. Being the observer changes and transforms um, everything. Okay. For the better. It's time to overcome your fear of death. And I'm about to do a talk on this. It stands in the way of you living your best life. There's nothing to lose but your ego. So be fearless. A setback is just a chance to regroup and get creative. You might even come up with a better plan as a result. So embrace any opportunity you're having right now and try to see this through new eyes. So if you've experienced a setback recently, it's only so that you can kind of pull back, rearrange, reassess, and get going again, even more organized or with a better plan or something that's more solid anyway. 
Don't be afraid to rely on others to aid you in a time of need. Accept a gift or take a compliment. People feel good when they give, so let them do it. In doing so, you encourage all humanity to care. So I feel like this is also like, don't push away these incredible blessings that are coming for you. Um, it's not about deserving. It's like God has placed a great gift in your hands, a great opportunity in your hands. It doesn't matter. It's not based on your qualifications or your deservingness. It's like, this is your opportunity. So go do the will of God, God meaning spirit, but whatever you're prompted to do intuitively, follow that prompting and act on it. Ask more questions to gain clarity about a situation instead of judging or assuming anything. So, you know, even a lot of true love couples are coming together in union now or close to now or soon. Um, so instead of judging or assuming anything, just ask a lot of questions of that person. Ask a lot of questions at the Redemption Center. Just go in with a list of questions. Just don't be assuming or defensive or, you know, jump to any kind of conclusions, just go in inquisitive, no matter what you're starting right now in your life, and be very open to any kind of miracles happening. We're doing all we can to comfort and encourage you through this time. You're very important to us. We love you. Okay. <clears throat> now, I'm going to pull a couple of uh, messages from your angels. If you're confused or indecisive, it's because you don't, don't have enough information. So do some research or seek expert advice before making a decision. Again, like go in inquisitive with lots of questions and you'll get your questions answered. Schooling, study, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So if you feel drawn or kind of excited to learn about a particular subject and you want to go towards that, do that. Um, I feel like there's a lot we're going to have to, to relearn in our society right now. So just be willing with an with a eager and open mind to take a look at new ways of being. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are being watched over by, an, uh, by angels. So if you've had a, a pet that's passed away recently, just know that they're in really good hands also um, and that they just weren't supposed to go on this next chapter of your life with you. They're going to be doing their own thing. Um, some of you are actually going to be working for the humanitarians and you're going to get pe paid very well um, for, for doing something that's very, very um, beneficial to, I mean, it's going to be the most rewarding job you could possibly have. So even if you didn't make it on the humanitarian train, don't, you know, just get in contact with somebody who is, and they will, they will pay you very well to help them out. And in a lot of cases, they're going to be helping animals, wild animals, domestic animals. And, and if that's a passion that you have, you're, you're going to, you may find your dream job with a humanitarian. Um, you have an important life purpose involving communication in the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will, I will help you. So just be a willing participant in whatever you're being called up to in, in this chapter of your life. You may be asked to go on YouTube and that may be incredibly uncomfortable for you, but take your ego out of it and just tell yourself, I'm willing, whatever God wants me to do right now, I'm willing and I will, and I'll do whatever I'm being prompted to do. Yes, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding and protecting you during these changes. So um, a couple more, and then we'll do, um, we'll do a blessing for your protection and to aid in all these different things that we've talked about to help you with all that. Multifaceted, there are many different things happening all at the same time right now. There's going to be some really scary things and there's going to be some supportive things and there's going to be some amazing things and there's going to be new resources that we didn't think possible. There's going to be um, like all kinds of crazy things. So in a real mixing pot. Um, so heightened intuition, be extra aware of your inner knowingness and its trustworthiness. So that is a main thing we have to look, rely on right now. We're, we keep being told by spirit, like rely on us, rely on us. If you are in, if you get attacked in your dreams and you wake up feeling depressed or even suicidal or crazy things right now, just know that that's not you. That's not your energy. That is, it's not you. So do not feel bad about it. Just ask God, ask your angels, say, please take this burden off of me and show me how, how special I am to you. Show me how much you love me, please. And I promise you will have the most amazing things happen that will turn everything around and bring you back to peace. 
um, answered prayers. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. Your prayers will be answered. So just pray as if you've already received it. Thank you guys so much for showing me just how supported I am. You know, say that prayer and see what happens. Multifaceted again. There, we're just getting a warning that there's going to be like, it's kind of like stirring up a pond full of muck. You know, you're going to see all kinds of things in there. So don't, don't be scared. You just, you know, hold your ground and take care of yourself, make time for self-care, take a bath, you know, go get the products that you need to support yourself adequately and all that. Ceremonies and celebrations, that's the four of wands. That's going to the next level. You're leveling up, you're healing. You're going to be able to go through the med beds, um, all of that. And you're going through an important life passage right now, major life passage. You're going through one of the biggest events ever in the history of earth. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So, you know, another big theme right now is just letting go, letting go of the past, letting go of any past pain. Even, you know, with these true love couples, you guys need to forgive each other and give each other a brand new clean slate and put the past behind you and just start again. Um, and family, friends, you know, all the harsh things that they've said and done, you got to let that go. And now it's time for your natural beauty and authenticity to shine. So just keep, you know, reassessing everything. Is this truly authentically me? Is this truly authentically me? Does this feel right for me? Does this feel true for me? Does this feel, you know, put and put protection around yourself, whatever you watch. And if you see anything or feel anything negative, just get the heck out of there. Value your self-worth enough to make decisions that are really good for you. You have to be your, your best advocate right now, your best, most sovereign ad advocate. Nobody is going to fight for you, but like you can. So you really have to value your self-worth and, and you decide to get away from anybody who might be trying to use you or trying to tell you what to do or trying to tell you what's best for you. Anything like that, you need to break free of all of that right now and become free. Passion and purpose, because passion and purpose is calling you forward to start making your dreams come true. So what is your dream? What do you want to have happen? And start creating and manifesting it now by becoming one with God present in the moment. Okay. All right. Love life. Told you. Unions are going to be happening. It's all happening at the same time. It's a shit show. It's like all over the place. All these, all the worst things in the world and all the best things in the world, all in a big mixing pot. So Keep your focus on that, which you want to have happen. Control it and control your mind, control your mind and quit um, putting any kind of focus on anyone else trying to control you. Just be super gentle with yourself. Listen to your intuition and take good care of yourself. Balance your feminine and masculine energies. Forgive. Um, it's about progress, not perfection. So don't beat yourself up when you have little setbacks. Just be like, okay, time to regroup again. Um, and a setback could even be like, I have to move again. I already moved like a million times. Like I've moved like 20 times in the last 20 years. I'm so sick of moving, <laughs> but you have to embrace it in a different way. You have to look at it like, you know what? It's another chance to get more organized. It's another chance to dump more junk. It's another chance to really see what's truly valuable to me. And it's another chance to give things away to the women's shelter. It's then it's another chance to, you know, so just be looking at it in the most positive outlook that you can and see that you're starting to level up and 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 just be willing, just be willing. Cause you're called, you're being called up at this time to your very best life possible. So I'm so excited for everybody right now. Um, so stay out of fear. Don't take depression seriously. Laugh it off have a great sense of humor right now. Go with the flow, go toward what you're inspired to go towards. Do not listen to anybody trying to control you in any way, shape or form. You do what you want to do <clears throat> and you will be supported in every way, shape and form and protected all along the way. So I'm going to do a blessing for you right now. <sighs> I wanted this to be short. So I was talking as fast as I could. How much is she Hala pim ho ma anata ikin sa sha ishena hala ki de tena ho san se la ha pa ike hala shishina po o ma an tai tai ke san se she la hala pim pim pum ma ana ai ke na 
Shishela ha pum pum ahana aka sase. Daily boosters, I have got your back. I am like pouring out so much energy to you right now and giving you all kinds of solutions, ideas, epiphanies, um, all kinds of wonderful things. So I send you guys a big, big hug. Um, thanks for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you the next time I make a video for you. All right. And don't forget to go over to Rumble. I know it's an extra step, but go over to Rumble. It's, it'll be worth it. Um, there's some great videos over there. And I'm going to be putting the Great Awakening videos over there if they have any kind of iffy stuff I'm talking about or questionable, you know, to, you know, who. Um, so go over to rumble.com forward slash awakening with Amy and enjoy those videos. And I'm sending you a big hug and I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>